Hello beautiful Virgos. This is your you versus them love reading. It's a snapshot of the way both of you are feeling at this time. All right, Virgo. <laughs> I'm looking at this reading and all I want to say is get a room. <laughs> oh my word, Virgo. Okay, so we have all this yang energy. Hello, lots of wands. Lots of passion, lots of yang energy, okay. Oh goodness, you're both at peace with each other, but there's not a lot of talking. Something in this relationship has made the two of you feel like, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is like a puppy chasing its tail. It's like you can't get out of your own way, both of you. I mean, both of you, the energy between you. Is, it's almost like you have talking points because of this that you keep talking about to sort of subvert, I don't know, you know, I'll just get into the reading. But <laughs> I am surprised my tablecloth is not on fire, okay? I'm just, just saying. So Virgo, here's your energy. You know, here you are in your own reading. The Virgo, you know, you're always working away. But while you're working, you are constantly thinking about this person. You fantasize about them, but actually it's more than fantasize. The chemistry, you can't get it out of your head. The chemistry, the relationship between the two of you is like this alchemy. It's like this magic when the two of you are together and you're making love. And But anytime you're together, the two of you have a creative force. This is Gemini and Virgo combination energy. The two of you have like this special, magical ability to create anything. Anything that you want to create, what you do create is a lot of friction and a lot of heat between the sheets. <laughs> that the, the magician card is a card of great chemistry, really. Like when we say, oh, our chemistry was so great. It is definitely two persons coming together and there's something about the magic that happens between them. The four of discs, you are holding on to this person. I don't think you've seen this person for a while. I feel like you feel like you feel as though you're traveling a very lonely road. You're really not, you know, you're being very peaceful about this. Both of you are being very peaceful. Nobody's causing a ruckus here. But with all this yang energy, you're holding on to your person. That really says that you're rather possessive about them. You're possessive, you keep to yourself. You feel as though they're like a little purse of gold when you want to think about them, if you want to be happy. You, you really actually conjure them up in your mind. You have thoughts of the past. It really speaks to the fact that you want to be with them for a long time. The Three of Wands is my ships have come in. I see very clearly, and this is Kundalini energy. You see clearly the Eight of Wands, making love all night long, communicating all day long. You love this person, but you don't talk about it. You are silent in your love. You hold back. But you, you show them love with passion, or you try to, but that's the way you feel is the only way you can express yourself. Uh, now, that's not true of all Virgos, so this can be vice versa energy. Take it as it resonates with each card individually. If it fits you, it's yours. If it doesn't, it isn't. But when we look at your person, Virgo, we're having somebody, you need to tell your person that you love them because they love you. Ace of Cups, love, 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 love. Six of Cups, lots more, love, love, love. This person is broken hearted and they are underwater. Your person feels they're not nearly as serene as you are. You're very sort of okay with the quiet, but your person is not. Your person struggles with it. Your person struggles with not knowing what's going on. They feel like they're 10 feet beneath the surface of the water. They love you. They want your, they see you also as very magnetic. There's this ma magician and in, in the magician energy is coming in for them as a king of wands. Very passionate, fiery, somebody with a lot of pride. There may be, Leo, you know, a Leo rising in someone's chart here. 
but what we see is your person is thinking about you. Nostalgic memories are very loyal. They're not going anywhere else to find love. They're not at all. When they, you know, when they're, they curl up and they're alone at night, these cards haunt them. They're haunted by missing you. They have a broken heart. I don't think that, I think that you have not seen each other for a while. It could be COVID, it could be other reasons, but I'm really seeing someone who wants you to come in and, you know, quote unquote, this is not, you know, let's uh, like, you know, push them against the wall, be very sort of in a very energetically sweet way, gentle way to really sort of, you know, undress them don't ask for their permission this person really wants you to really come in they want though to feel your love when you are together this person look at this king of cups king of cups you're both the same you're both the same that scorpio energy neither of you really are people who talk about how they feel about love and yet you both love each other tremendously your person may love you in a more receptive way than you love them. You know, where you want to go out and conquer, you know, worlds and create things and so forth to show your love. I feel as though you would be the type of person that would do something. You know, the Virgos tend to show their love through deeds or acts of service or kindness. But this person needs words. Your person needs words. Because the Four of Swords is a Libra energy. They need to feel like you're with them. Libra energy is about partnership. They feel as though they know that you love to make love to them. They know that they love, they know that you love to um, be physical with them. They know that, but they don't know at all what your emotions are. They have to guess at it. The mutual energy between the two of you is a heart of swords. The heart of swords is a queen of swords, a Libra queen. You know, it's sort of like a Judge Judy. But here you are. I mean, it's like you're looking at each other from a distance and you're not doing anything. And yet both of you want to be together. Both of you want to rush towards the other person. Home is where the heart is. You, you are one another's heart space. You are in one another's heart space. The universe says that both of you think that you would never find another relationship as special as this one again, that this is once in a lifetime. The movement of wands, you both feel very passionate towards each other. You know, the eight of wands, the knight of wands, the knight of wands, and the sun card, that's Leo energy. Again, we have Leo, we have Virgo, of course. We have Scorpio, but, you know, round and round, it's like you get the love making down. That, there's no problem with that whatsoever. That is the strong point of the relationship. It's actually the glue that holds it together. Because when you are physical with each other, you are making love to each other. It doesn't matter what the neighbors think. <laughs> when they hear very unusual sounds coming from your house, your apartment or whatever, you know, your neighbor's like, what are they doing that feels so great in there? I want some of that. But what we're seeing here is that you never, you're so happy together. You want to be with each other so much. You need to talk. You need to talk. You need to share those feelings. You both have the urge to be builders. When we look at the Scorpio King, that's a legacy person. That's, you know, it's, it literally rules the eighth house of death and rebirth. There's something about this relationship that brought both of you back to life after a time in your life when you thought you couldn't heal, when you had given up on love. But you, Virgo, are in a sounder place you are in a better place than your person is. Your person may be the feminine. It's hard to say, you know, vice versa, whatever. It's just energy. But your person is holding space in their heart for you. They're waiting virtually for you to come back. They'll wait a long time. They never tell you how sad they are when you're gone. They never speak of that. They keep it to themselves because they don't want to burden you. 
So let's take a look and see what the clarifying energies are here. Let's see. Let's look at why are you not moving forward in this relationship? Let's see. What are the messages from the Oracle of Love? Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Hmm. Fate. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. This is a destined partnership. But whoever the masculine is needs to step in. Masculine energy needs to step in and, and take a leadership role here and actually be the first, you know, to really open up and say what you feel. So, sending you love from Chicago. Virgo, send some back and tell me where you're from, please.